The Harford County Sheriff's Office is trying to find this man who they believe killed Rachel Morin and left her body on the Ma and Pa Trail. Authorities say the video shows him leaving the scene of a home invasion and assault in Los Angeles in March. They say his DNA matches DNA found at the crime scene, but they don't know his name or if he's still in the area. And they're urging residents to be aware of their surroundings and has some people afraid with more questions than answers. I think they're scared. People are scared. It's coming into our backyard where this was always a safe area. I watched a lot of SVU and I was like, now it's real life stuff. Like it, you watch it on TV again, you're numb to it all until it happens here. Did she know him? Did she not know him? See, from here, it's, it's a lot of unanswered questions. That time of the night. Keith Daniels spoke with a police expert about how police could track this suspect down. Keith, what are you learning tonight? Well, Vincent, they're calling that DNA match a critical piece of evidence in this case. And tonight we're learning now how that evidence could be used to help track down a suspected killer. The Harford County Sheriff's Office with the announcement, critical evidence in the Rachel Morin murder case. This DNA evidence has come back as a match. Investigators revealing this man's DNA is the same DNA recovered from Morin's crime scene along the Ma and Paw Trail nearly two weeks ago. Investigators sharing images of the man Thursday night, which shows him leaving the scene of a home invasion and assault in Los Angeles in March. His face never fully visible. An unnamed suspect linked to Morin's murder with DNA and video images. But now what? What could investigators be doing now with that critical break in the case to find the suspected killer? They're comparing notes and they are coming up with a game plan. Melissa Pinkleton is a law enforcement expert and retired Nashville police sergeant with what the game plan might be for investigators. It involves offering a reward. It involves plastering the entire city and even the major news stations plastering pictures of you know, what, what poor pictures we have, but they're still relevant. And what about the suspect's DNA? Pinkleton believes detectives will almost certainly use ancestral DNA. Find the suspect by comparing samples given to companies like 23andMe. Track the suspect down by finding distant relatives. Like a cousin or a second cousin or a third cousin. And then that investigator has a lead to work from knowing that they have a second or third cousin. And then they start making phone calls and do you know so-and-so? Have you heard from so-and-so? An ongoing investigation with the suspect described as a Hispanic male in his early to late twenties, five foot nine and 160 pounds. I think now it kind of leads us down the path that we believe this was a um, person that Rachel probably didn't know. Or maybe you, you could say potentially a random act of violence. Well, until that suspect is caught, the Harford County Sheriff's Office is urging residents to be cautious, and they say they will continue visible patrols at the Ma and Pa Trail. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Again, this is what we do know about the suspect. Police say he's around five foot nine, 160 pounds. He's of Hispanic descent and in his early to mid 20s. Anyone who recognizes him should call the Harford County Sheriff's tip line at 410-836-7788 or send an email to rmtips at harfordsheriff.org.